Hello everybody and welcome back to the Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix Randomizer. In the last episode we got started in the world that never was. We did the entire first visit to Twilight Town because the Roxas portion was just straight up cut. And in today's episode we're going to generate a new number 11, which is... Let's see, I think that's Malusia. That is Malusia. So... We go to... Where do we go? For Malusia. Disney Castle! Okay, we can definitely do Disney Castle. That's two worlds in one. Oh my god, wait a second. When does the Lingering Wheel spawn? Because we're going to need to... I don't know if the Lingering Wheel is randomized. I'm assuming it isn't. But I can't be sure yet. So let's just focus on these chests. For the time being. We get a Mithril Stone. And we... Get an Oracarcon Plus, it's always nice. Maybe we'll actually synthesize the Ultima Weapon and see what it turns into. Or maybe that'll just give us another Ultima Weapon, which seems unlikely, question mark? I don't even know at this point. So, we're going to ignore another Drive Boost. Um, I guess I'll take that when I can equip it. Mithril Stone. Okay, so last episode we had a lot of very, very good chests. This episode, we seem to be getting mostly synthesis items. <laughs> and an AP boost, I, I guess that is a thing. So we're going to skip out on the the basic heartless here, because how much experience did they give? About seven, but there is a lot of them here. So maybe it's worth it to murder a couple of them, but I honestly can't be bothered to do that, because we're about to face an entire throne room full of heartless as well. Which surely is going to be more worth my time. So let's just skip this. This is a pretty good way to level up uh, Wisdom Form or Valor Form to a certain extent, but more so Wisdom Form. Uh, if you already have it at this point in the game. But we don't. We only have Auto Valor and we have Limit Form, which leveled up once because uh, of the experience multiplier I have. Forms uh, level up much quicker. So presumably getting a limit form to max level is going to be laughably easy. We got a potion! Okay, let's do this escort mission. Because we... This is why I didn't want to murder all of those heartless before, because we would have to do it all over again here anyway. And we, uh, we have a lot of abilities, as I said. We found Explosion in the last episode. We found Combo Master in the last episode. We found Limit Form, as I just mentioned, in the last episode. We found a lot of things in the last episode, and I pretty much like all of them. Magnet Splash, we found in the last episode. Again, at the start of last episode, we were very not prepared to deal with any serious boss fights. At this point, I'm fairly confident that most boss fights we could be facing, other than the very endgame boss fights, we'll probably be able to take care of. So unless we end up facing Xamnas in this world, which theoretically might be possible, we should be fine. Some of the bosses just aren't randomized, like the Zigmar one uh, we faced last episode. That one just wasn't randomized because it doesn't work in any other arena. I'm assuming most of the Xemnas fights follow that same logic. Though I don't know that for sure, of course. I might just want to go limit form. Actually, now that I have limit form, I might not need to keep potions in my hotbar because that actually overrides the limit form limits in the shortcut. And you can still go to it through either like magical limits, I don't remember. But maybe it's a good idea to have many help here. Maybe it's a good idea to uh, get rid of those shortcuts and just place some kind of magic on them, I guess, maybe? Where is Queen Minnie anyway? She's getting damaged, I don't know where she is. Oh, there she is. So, I'm assuming this is going to be the most difficult fight we have today, because obviously the uh, Steamboat is going to be... I think it's got changed to the uh, point where it's literally like one combo and, and you win that minigame fight. I, I didn't even want to call it a fight, because it's more of a minigame than it is a fight. So, let's call it just, as I said, a minigame fight. 
But uh, give me... I don't know how you trigger Magnet Splash specifically. Maybe it's a matter of like fighting game style not holding the like directional buttons. Or well, not directional buttons, but the analog stick. Because obviously the directional buttons only work for the menus. Again, I wanted a shot lock. I, I, <laughs> I don't know why that is, because I haven't played Birth by Sleep in like two or three weeks at this point, because I finished that. This is being uploaded in the Birth by Sleep upload slot, because Birth by Sleep finished. For some reason, this specific fight, because it's probably because there's a lot of big enemies, uh, and that's usually when I use shot locks against non-boss related situations. But I really shouldn't. As Vanitas, I had an excuse, right? As Vanitas, I had an excuse for using shot locks or wanted to use shot locks because it's Vanitas and he's in birth by sleep. But I don't really have that excuse anymore because this is a Sora. Well, Sora's in Kingdom Hearts 3 and you also have shot locks in 3. So. But I haven't played 3 since I gave up on beating Yuzora. Because Yuzora can go die. That fight is. redonkulous. Honestly. Just like this. This is. This is just stupid. Just keep following me, damn it. Why would you not keep following me? There's no other enemies, there's no heartless, nobody can hurt you. We finally did it. And we got Dodge Slash, which I don't know what that is. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I'm not entirely sure. And, okay, we skip all of the bullshit going to uh, Holobastian to talk to Merlin, so we can straight up go into Timer's River. Which, I've said this a lot of times, gives us access to a lot of, uh, a lot of chests, I think. Not as many as Disney Castle itself, because Disney Castle has a, frankly, insane amount of chests. Hero's Crest, let's look at that. Is it better than what we currently have? It might be, it might not be. It has scan! Oh my god, we're gonna be stuck with Hero's Crest! Fuck! Oh, but we have scanned, but we're gonna be stuck with this keyblade because of it. Damn it! Damn it! Oh, that is both amazing and horrible at the same time. Let's uh, get rid of this and I, I don't know. Let's put Blizzard on that and then put uh, Magnet on that as well. I, I don't really care, to be honest, as long as there's not potions in there. Oh my god, we have scan. Honestly, I'm, I'm kind of... It's, it's kind of worth it to lose a bit of power on my Keyblade to get scan because not having scan was driving me... Crazy. Maybe at some point when I feel confident enough to the point where I don't need an old form page, that's real good. Uh, where I don't need scan anymore, I'll switch it out for a battle keyblade. Or if I get a keyblade that is just so, like, grossly overpowered, we'll get rid of scan. Hello, Sodiax. Oh my god, that's an HP bar! It's beautiful! Um, does that mean? That the Psyx in Halloween Town is Data Psyx? Because I'd really rather it wasn't. Gonna be honest with you, I, I, I don't really like the idea of that being Data Psyx. Because this certainly is not Data Psyx. But we are dealing quite a lot of damage against him. So, I guess that is a good thing. Wait, can you not go back into Berserk mode because you don't have your Moon Meter? Because that will make this fight a lot easier. Uh, Sonic Blade. You fucked up my Sonic Blade. Why am I not damaging you? Why didn't I damage you? Um, can to explain that? What level is my limit format already? Hold on. What level is my limit format? I can't damage you. I cannot damage you. Oh, because I don't have a... Oh, 
Why didn't I have a Keyblade? Where did my Keyblade go? Also, why? <laughs> I don't understand, but I am mildly impressed by the fact that when I don't have a Keyblade I don't deal damage because that is not a part of this game. That happened in Kingdom Hearts 1, but that is not a part of this game. Uh, yeah, we're about to beat Saiyax unless we get our ass handed to us right here, right now, which we very well might. No, no, Donald, Donald, I need you. Donald, you... Son of a bitch! I had him down to his last hit! You just needed to heal me! We can do that. I still don't quite understand what happened to my keyboard when I used Limit Form. Not gonna lie, that was a bit weird. But uh, let's take a look at what Nobody God actually does. So go for Item boost and it's, it's just worse. Unless I give him items. If I give him items, it becomes better. But then I would have to actually buy items. And do I look like the type of guy who's gonna buy items for Goofy? Because uh, I won't. I, I will not. Okay, at least he's already... He can't go back into Berserk mode. We pretty much know that. Oh, wait a second. That's the chest. Let me go check that out. Oh, Torn Pages. We uh, we already knew what that was. I just didn't collect it after dying. Um, so, I guess we take it a little bit more carefully uh, because we have to use our Drive Form as... As healing, but we also have auto Valor, and I think Valor might actually just straight up be better anyway against Saiyx here. So let's let's keep it at Valor, if we even need to. That is because so far we seem to be doing fairly well for ourselves against him. He's already like half dead, and since I have so much MP rage, I will never run out of MP. <laughs> Yeah, we, we don't even, like, need to do any, like, serious stuff here. Ah, uh, thank you for healing me that time! Oh, he's already almost dead. Let's finish him with his own weapon. That seems... poetic. He's not gonna be able to finish him with this, right? No, okay. A little too bad, but... Fuck you! Bye. Saiyx, not an issue. I only died once! And honestly, that kind of means it's not an issue. Real interesting fighting Cyrus in black and white, though. Doesn't really matter that much, but it's interesting, nonetheless. I don't really need scan for what I'm about to do, because it's just all basic harvest and I'm going to die very quickly. But still, it'll be fun. Just let me be happy that I finally have scan. And let me be annoyed that it's on a weapon. And not even a... Hello, Dark City map. And not even, like, a good weapon, either. It would have been great if it was, like, 9 strength, 9 magic, and scan. That would have been absolutely fantastic. Instead of it is on a... Like a 6 out of... Maybe even a 5 out of 10 weapon? Which then becomes, like, 9 out of 10 because of scan, obviously. But, uh... I I'd rather not have to use this weapon. I will. It only makes dry forms with two keyblades that much better, I suppose, uh, being able to use an actually good keyblade. So a master form and valor form and final form. Again, I'm assuming I can get final form at this point because last episode we did beat the uh, Roxas fight, which was not Roxas, but still. I'm assuming we can get final form at this point. But for that, we'll need to use a lot more dry forms. So maybe I should be doing that? Every time I see an organization member, just go into a dry form? Because I have limit form. But I don't know. That's actually a very good question. I'm fairly certain that, just like Mickey, we got a Mickey save against Zaldin where we usually fight Cerberus, and Cerberus is not a fight where Mickey can usually save you. So, 
that makes me think that the Mickey save mechanic is tied to the boss entity and not your ring. So I'm going to assume that the increase in going anti-fall also is dependent on the boss entity and not the arena. Meaning that every time we face a organization member, we probably should just try to go into a dry form. Preferably master form if we have it. So I, I'm assuming you can still enter anti-form through auto master. I don't know that you can. Probably you can, right? Um, because that gives you the most anti-points. Probably should just be going into master as much as we can anyway. To build up those master points for when we run into an organization. Because if we can unlock final form, we don't need any of the other forms. And I'm fairly certain that we can unlock final form at this point. So... Maybe we'll be able to do that sometime soon. Then again, maybe... Maybe not. Can we unlock Final Form through like getting it as an item? Or do we have to do it in the usual way? Or can we not even do it in the usual way and do we have to do it as an item? Usually, Final Form is the only form you don't get as an item. So that confuses me a little bit. Uh, so I do think that was all of these, right? So now we go to the pier again. It's probably not going to be that long of an episode if, uh, if this space keeps up. You know what? Just because I like Magnet Splash, I use it once. And I like Scan! Oh my god, I love the fact that I have Scan. So has this uh, been made any quicker or easier? Because I'd very much like it to be. This is, this is just straight up... It, it's straight up tedious. It's not a fun fight at all. But I'm assuming... That this has been... Nope. Well, at least I have scan. So I know that this is... You can still do this. Without getting shaken off. I've done that once before, I think. On screen, as a matter of fact. I'm fairly sure. Uh, oh my god, we got an AP boost for that! That is so useful! No, it's not. Stop it. More chests, though. More chests means more items, means... We got one of the proofs! <laughs> I, I forgot the fact that the proofs are the win condition! We got one of the proofs! And we got quick run level 2. Who cares? I entirely forgot the fact that we are actually looking for all three proofs and not just beating Xamnas. I guess, wait a second, why don't we have a crown? Do we not get a crown in Timeless River? That's a little bit sad. But yeah, we're actually looking for all three proofs. And uh, the, uh, the item we got in the first episode, I don't know what it's called. It's, it's Kairos Good Luck Charm. That's the win condition for the game, getting all of those. Not just beating Xemus. I think beating Xemus also finishes the game, obviously. But uh, the win condition for the randomizer is, uh, is not just beating Xemus. Though we will go and do the Xemus fight, don't you really? And we'll probably... I don't know if we'll go do the Lingering Will fight, because it's still a very difficult fight. It's, I'm still convinced it's the second most difficult fight there is in the Kingdom Hearts series. Wait, what is Auto Face? About Face? What the hell is that? It's gone now, though, so it doesn't really matter that much. It's probably, like, Pete's Limit or something. Like, good Pete, all Pete's Limit. No idea what that did. Um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, Lingering Will. Uh, Yuzora is definitely more difficult, but that's because it's the cheapest fight. And it's actually a fight you're supposed to lose. I'm pretty sure it's uh, at this point been established that the uh, the losing ending is the canonical one. And that's my excuse for not trying to beat him, because I think Yuzora is a stupid boss fight. And the mechanic of, like, Shion and maximum HP increase. 
Uh, Shion and Master Xehanort and Yuzora taking away your max HP is a really stupid mechanic. I liked it with the Shion fight. Uh, Master Xehanort annoyed me a little bit with Yuzora. I am not about it. Another Ulrich Halcom Plus. We're getting these pretty quickly at this point. I think we have four or five. Elven Bandana. So. How much more time do we have left? A little. A little. Mm. Yeah, you're just straight up finished, aren't you? So... I, mean, I, I gotta check, right? Is the Lingering Will... I think the Lingering Will is here. He is! Oh, and also the Malusha absence... Why is it in Disney Castle? Hold on, why are you here? Why aren't you in Beast Castle? Let's go see if the Lingering Will is randomized, first and foremost. Just to see. If he isn't randomized, we're gonna get absolutely destroyed. Okay! He's not randomized, so... Uh, hey, we have a crown! Um, at least it's good to know. That we won't be facing Lingering Will in a non-Lingering Will scenario. <laughs> We're not fighting him. We know that he's just not the one keeping us from getting scanned, so... Because we have it on a fucking weapon. Let's see, what is Malusha gonna turn into? Surely this is not just... It's just straight up the Malusha fight. Okay, um... We can give it a shot, but I don't think we're going to be able to do this at level 32, without God. And most of our abilities, as a matter of fact. Duncan, this could be an opportunity to unlock Final Four, which would be kind of cool. Air counter, I think... I think that might have been a mistake. I probably should have gone for the other one. Oh, no. This is actually the one I wanted because that's the one that deals damage. Wait, is this Data, this data Malusha? Is it? He's got a way too much blade count. Sure. Uh, he's got way too much HP. Is that Data Malusha? No, Data Malusha starts a fight with a different pattern, though. Is that right? I don't know. <laughs> Let's go blade count. The air counter might have been battle. I, I don't know. We're getting a actually decent amount of HP at this point, so we can actually take some hits. Well, that doesn't matter too much against Malusia, of all people. Nah, he gives us way too much time for his reaction commands for it to be Data Malusha. So, apparently normal Malusha just has a lot of HP and I kind of forgot about that. Sure. Yeah, and his patterns are also very easy to, like, dodge and stuff like that, so... Got greedy. I got a bit greedy, but I don't need Blade Cat. So far, this is actually a real easy fight. I'm not gonna lie. And now you're going to start doing your bullshit, but I actually have these abilities, even though I don't have the forms to go with them. So, let's... Oh, that is... Definitely data evolution. Because that was way too much damage. <laughs> okay. Um, let's leave. Leaving. That's what we're doing. We leaving. And I do think this is a decent moment to end off this episode, because what else is there to do, really? We can't really go into another world. So, let's end it here. Next time, we'll be back. More Kingdom Hearts. More fun. See you then. Something about liking and subscribing. You've probably already done that. Bye.